Professor Black Ops, Cybersecurity for the People, two quick articles, fake vaccination cards, and digital travel documents stating that you need a corona shot or a vaccination from corona. So let's get into it. So coming soon, the vaccine passport. In near future, Travel may require digital documentation showing the passengers have been vaccinated or tested for the coronavirus. The answers to your questions. The American government and those in the travel industry has a new term that has entered the vocabulary of the vaccine passport. One of President Biden's executive orders aimed at curbing the pandemic Ask government agencies to assess the feasibility of linking coronavirus vaccine certificates with other vaccination documents and producing a digital version of them. Denmark's government said on Wednesday that in the next three or four months, it will roll out a digital passport that will allow citizens to show that they have been vaccinated. And it's just governments are just suggesting vaccine passports in a few weeks. Etihad and Emirates Airlines will start using a digital travel passport developed by the International Airport Transport Association to help passengers manage their travel plans and provide airlines and government documentation that they have been vaccinated or tested for COVID-19. So I'm actually going to put the link in the description. There's a whole lot of other governments and airlines and industries trying to figure out how to come up with a travel passport for vaccinations for you to travel internationally or maybe even inside the United States. They're still working it out. So once again, that link will be in the description. Of course, when you have people force you to get some documentation, they're gonna be selling fake COVID-19 vaccination cards for $20 on the web. So let's read this uh, particular article. Once again, the article will be in the description. Frosters are setting are using a Shopify-based uh, store to sell fake uh, COVID-19 vaxxers, according to Domain Tools. Due to the decentralization of the U.S. healthcare system, the cards which carry the logo of the CDC were just to be the simplest way to authorities can keep track of who has the uh, vaccination. Yet, with 13% of the American people stating that they will refuse the vaccine, there has now emerged a black market of those who still want to enjoy the benefits of immunization and will bring a, a town and the city start to relax the lockdown. So basically they want to sell the fake cars to the 13% of the population who's actually refusing the uh, vaccine. Um, I believe actually the number or the percentages are much, much higher in the United States. The security firm claim this it has seen authentic looking cars selling for as little as $20 each on a domain like COVID19VaccinationCard.com, which features a let's encrypted TLS certificate. Though selling a printed card is not necessarily illegal, the pricing the logo on the card stock that the vaccination records demonstrates the level of intent to pass a legitimate card from the CDC explained the uh, Domain Tools Senior Security Researcher, Mr. Anderson. So I guess selling a fake card is, wasn't totally legally, but once you put the CDC logo in there, obviously you're trying to trick uh, agencies into letting you travel in the United States or abroad with a fake card. Uh, Anderson claims the Domain Tool has observed 18,500 Shopify stores selling COVID-themed products, including fraudulent home tests, non-medical grade PPE, although not all of these are illegal or counterfeit. As the scam continues to shift with the new themes, we urge users to be extra vigilant when signing up for medical services online as many phishing scams. Both over text messages and email are already appearing uh, leveraging CDC vaccination as a lure. Furthermore, we encourage you to pay for anything through a web portal if it's in thorough uh, use of an official healthcare provider. So once again, uh, be vigilant. There's a lot of fake uh, products out there. There's a lot of fake websites and phishing out there uh, looking for fake COVID-19 uh, scammer cards. Once again, 
uh, cybersecurity for Professor Ops. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.